Good morning, ESM. I'm Sophie. And I'm Elena, and today is October 19th, 2020. So let's start things off. Bella, what do you have today for the news? During the Town of Manliest meeting on Wednesday, October 14th, 2020, the Manliest Town Supervisor referred to the coronavirus as the Chinese virus. His response that night after being corrected was, well, we'll just have to agree to disagree. Flu season, and it's continued to be the uh, Chinese virus season known as COVID-19. It was at the very end of the Town of Manlius board meeting when the town supervisor, Ed Theobald, described the coronavirus pandemic as the, quote, Chinese virus season, as he was reminding his community to stay proactive. One quick comment, the, um, the, the phrase Chinese virus has been um, thought by many in the community to be disparaging towards Asian people in the country, and it's really not... Um, it's not a term I'm very comfortable with in describing COVID. And coming Then on Friday, he decided to issue a formal apology via live stream stating, I recognize that the description I used was inappropriate and unmerited, and for that I am sorry. Even though it was not my intention, in retrospect, I fully acknowledge that the remark was both objectionable and offensive. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today there will be some rain, especially by noon and into the evening. The majority of the day should look cloudy and cool with highs in the mid-50s. Tomorrow we'll have showers tapering off during the afternoon with highs in the mid-50s. Wednesday should be cloudy, warm, and breezy with some rain and even thunder possible at times. There is a high in the low 70s. Thursday has a chance of a shower or two, otherwise it looks quiet but cloudy day and a high in the low 60s. Friday will be windy and unseasonably warm with some sun and maybe a passing shower. The highs are in the mid-70s. This weekend we should see some warmer temperatures. Saturday with some rain showers and a high in the mid-60s. Sunday looks like it's going to cool down into the high 40s, low 50s with partly cloudy skies. I'm Allie with your weather. Today we have a special guest today whose birthday was this weekend, so let's welcome and say happy birthday to Mr. Avellino. Mr. Avellino, what reminder do you have for us today regarding masks? Good morning, everybody. I wanted to remind everybody that, um, first of all, thank you for everybody that's been so great about wearing the mask in the hallways. Uh, well, just a reminder that you want to make sure your mask is, is a very tight fit. It's not below your nose like this. It should always be covering your entire nose, your face. It's really the importance of just being safe and this way uh, the air is filtered coming in for yourself as well as the air is filtered going out for your uh, other types of uh, students uh, within your classrooms. Also, I want to remind you that the vented masks really should not be worn. Uh, they are not approved to be worn here at school. And the reason for that is because a vented mask, the air comes out of it and it's not filtered. Air coming in is filtered. Uh, they are great, I guess, for sports. So, you know, continue to wear that. Uh, just be mindful of the safe, uh, of, of what you do to be safe around your students uh, and your teachers. So with that, have a great day, everybody. And at 250 frames per second, it shows us exactly why masks work to slow airborne infection. Now, it's important to remember that we can't see viral particles in these images. They're too small. But the viruses are carried on that breath just like a river carries fish. In fact, an individual viral particle is smaller than the weave of most fabrics. So why does this work? Well, masks help in two interesting ways. First, it's important to understand that viruses don't float around alone. They fly out in droplets of moisture. Most droplets are heavy enough that they fall within two meters or so but any person or object within that distance can get bathed in virus. 
And without a mask, some of those droplets can evaporate into super tiny particles of infection that can float on air currents far from your mouth or nose. And these micro droplets are extremely hard for any mask to filter out. But with a mask on, in the warm human space between your mouth and the mask, those larger droplets don't have time to evaporate, and they can be captured by common fabrics. If it feels hot and humid in here, that means it's working. And the second way that masks work is that any droplets that do get through now have less momentum. The air currents disperse in eddies and swirls instead of flowing away in streams, which means droplets won't travel as far. So which mask is the best mask? If it seems like recommendations change all the time, that's because doctors and scientists know more now than they did months ago. And they'll know more months from now than they do today. Because that's exactly how science is. In upcoming games, the field hockey team has a game at home against Auburn. The boys' soccer team beat Oswego Friday 6-0. Scorers were Christian Moon, Todd Durantini, Henry Callahan, and Zach Schufelt. The girls' soccer team also beat Oswego 7-0. Scorers were Angelina Polcaro, Sarah Stark, among others. And the field hockey team lost to CNS 4-1. In Syracuse news, the Cuse football team lost to Liberty. 38-21. to 21. They play again Friday against Clemson. And in NFL news, the Green Bay Packers' hope for an undefeated season was crushed by Tom Brady and the Bucks after the Packers lost 38-10. to 10. The Steelers are one out of three undefeated teams left in the NFL as they beat the Cleveland Browns 38-7. to 7. As the rookie wide receiver Chase Claypool had another monster game as he finished with four receptions, 74 yards, averaging 18.5 yards per perception reception, sorry, and had two rushing attempts for seven yards and a rushing touchdown. And MLB news, the Dodgers won three straight elimination games to win a playoff series for the second time in franchise history. They'll play game one of the World Series this Tuesday against the Tampa Bay Rays. And I'm John with your sports. Stay safe, everyone. From me, Sophie, and everyone here at The Morning Show, have a great Monday. Bye.